Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'll start with a disclaimer that most of this video was filmed on a very cloudy day, hence the less than great lighting in some parts. Today's video will be a chill vlog of me reorganizing my shelves. I'm nearly at 400 volumes in my manga collection and have over 150 volumes to shelf, so that called for a reorganization. There are chapters in the video, so feel free to go to the location you're interested in. I usually do a better job of keeping my things organized, but the shelf setup I have makes things a bit difficult. My living area has a layout with minimal floor space for tall shelves, so I opted for wall-mounted shelves instead. The problem though, as you can see, is that the shelves are behind my couch and not easily accessible, which makes organizing things a hassle, and I just let my purchases accumulate so I can organize them in one fell swoop. Please ignore the mess, I was in the middle of organizing here. As for how I have organized my shelves, the top shelf has all my non-otaku books because I read those as well. I tend to buy mostly non-fiction and do all my other reading with a library card and e-reading or audiobook subscriptions. Everything else is manga, manhwa, webtoons, dame novels and so on and I've sorted them by demographic and then by height. On the middle shelf, I have all my seinen and shonen manga to the left, then a tiny section for jose in the middle. I don't have a whole lot of titles in that demographic just yet, and to the right, I have all my shoujo big titles. I've tried to keep them together, but I probably won't be able to do that for much longer. Moving to the bottom shelf, I have the overspill of my shoujo titles to the right side of the shelf. These are basically non shoujo big titles. And to the left of the shelf and well past the middle, I have Dambe novels and BL. And then there's this weird tiny section of titles I'm not sure how to categorize just yet. I was starting to run out of space on the shelf, so I cleared out my entertainment center and moved all my Attack on Titan volumes there since they were the largest volumes I had for one title at the time. And I'll mostly be keeping this organization method and move things around as needed, but I went ahead to take everything down so I could dust my shelves and then sorted all of them into their different sections. I won't be speaking much for the rest of the video, but I wanted to say a huge thank you to the beautiful people who believe my content is enjoyable enough to our on topping. Always feel free to comment, I enjoy interacting with people on a topic we both clearly enjoy, so if you see a series you like in my collection, one you'd like to recommend after getting a few of what my collection looks like, or just whatever else, don't be shy, drop a comment. And now, time to shelf!
Since I already showed all the titles I'll be shelving here, this is where I break my vow of silence to rant about the direction Jujutsu Kaisen is going. I stopped watching the anime because it was just too much and with all the stuff going on with MAPPA as well. I didn't think it was possible but the anime has been much worse than reading the manga even though I already know what's going to happen. As for the manga, I stopped reading it after the Gojo spoilers, I was so annoyed that some people just ruined that for everyone and I'm saying this as someone who was keeping up with the manga weekly. I was already really confused with the manga because I felt like Gege was making shit up along the way and didn't really have a plot planned but the spoilers were the last straw and I just couldn't do it anymore.